Hi, welcome to the second verse section for Stairway to Heaven. Before we get started, you want to go ahead and grab your music sheet. Uh, it says second verse chart on the paper. And the great way to spot this is you got a D chord right at the bottom of the page. And that's how you know you got the right music sheet. Uh, music sheet, uh, the verse starts off with ooh, ooh, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. And next line, there's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure because you know sometimes words have two meanings. Okay, I don't have everything written here. Only the things I'm going to talk about in this lesson. Okay, now um, go ahead and grab your music sheet, tune to ukulele, and then we'll get started here in about a second. Okay, so I take it you got everything you need. Let's check our tuning: G, C, E, A. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play play this verse section for you a little slower then we'll break down the lesson in more detail okay um, I'm gonna sing it an octave lower so if it sounds a little different I'm just singing it a little lower than the normal pitch which is which is an octave higher okay I'm gonna go four count and then I'll start after the three here we go one two three stairway to heaven there's a sign on the wall but she wants to be sure cause you know sometimes words have two meanings in a tree by the brook there's a songbird who sings sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiven okay so that's the second verse for a stairway to heaven. So let's talk about it. First of all, every time you see the parentheses A, B, those are pickup notes from the A open A string, B to the C chord. So in other words, the pickup note is open A, bottom string, high A string, A, B, C, okay? So, so that's how it leads. So every time you see the parentheses and the A, B, those are your pickup notes. For instance, open, B, C, Okay. Um, the let's see the D chord. We're using the D bar chord. You can refer to your chord chart, but the D bar chord. Most of the beginning section is the D bar chord. Uh, the only regular D chord, the regular D chord. If you're making it like this or like this, is the last D chord in the second bottom line of the verse. The D above the word sings. That's the only time you're using a basic D chord. Okay? Basic D chord. Other than that, every time you see a D chord, you're using the bar chord D. And please refer to your chord chart to get that if you need to. Um, if you cannot do an F major 7, okay, go ahead and do a regular F chord. That'll work too. I think the F major 7 sounds a little nicer or adds a little more um, uh, emotion to the song but uh, an F chord will work just as fine. Uh, the picking is is, um, it is kind of the same throughout the song in, the, in, a, in various parts of the, the verses so let's go over that. So what I'm doing on the very first one which is the pickup A, B, C, and going into ooh, and she's buying a sorry to heaven. Okay, what I'm doing is two outside strings coming up. Okay, outside strings coming up, and then pluck in again, going to the next chord. So it sounds out two outside strings, middle, index, outside, move up to the next chord, same thing. Okay, once again, two outside strings, coming up, pick outside, move up to the next chord, same thing, outside, coming up, okay. Um, on the F major chord, F major 7 chord, what I'm doing is I'm plucking, coming up, plucking on the two outside, coming up, and then I'm coming back in my middle, for instance, 
outside, coming back up, pluck again, and coming back up, okay? Um, on the G to A minor, I'm just doing one strum. Not the usual, not that theme strum, but just the one strum. Uh, like in other words, heaven or um, meanings. Okay. Let's see here. Um, if you're having a hard time going from an F, like the last line, going from an F to an F major seven chord, what you can do is uh, think of the F, and then add add the add the um, fingering one at a time. So, for instance, here's your F chord, and if 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 it's, if it's difficult to just to just play an F major seven, add one note at a time. So here's an F chord. Add the ring finger down there on the bottom string, then add the baby finger. Okay, it, that should give you uh, enough time to play at least a little bit of the F major seven. However, if you're having difficulty with that. Until you work it out, just play the F chord for now and that'll be fine. Okay, so give that um, another look at. Back at the tutorial, try it again. And uh, most important of all, what you want to do, and always make sure you do, is that before you even play the tutorial, make sure you can do all the chords, okay, before you play. So, in other words, I think we mentioned this before, let's mention it again. So, we would not play with a, and we would just practice the progression. So in other words, open A, B, slide into a C, next chord is a D, next chord is an F major seven, or F, depending on how you wanna do it, Next, and then slide into a C from an A, B, C, bar chord D, then G, A minor. That, I just did the first line. I'm gonna do the second line now just to show you what I'm doing. So this is how we rehearse before we do the song. Next, uh, next line which is, there's a sign on the wall but she wants to be sure. Okay, so open A, B, slide into the C, next chord is a bar chord D, F major seven, but if you can't do that, make an F, that's fine, and an A minor. Okay, so do that for the whole song. Oh, keep in mind, uh, the bottom section in, in the tree by the brook is the same picking as you do in the, in the beginning of the song. Okay, then when I come to a D, I didn't quite do the picking like this. I, I, meant, I, I did a finger roll, okay? And then when I, when I came to the F, I did another finger roll, okay? Uh, just to let you folks know, but basically you can do the same picking for the uh, um, that section of the verse. So in a tree by a brook, in a, in a tree by a brook, there's a songbird sings. Sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiven. Just like the beginning of the song, there's the same picking pattern as that. Okay, so give that a try. Uh, try it as many times as you need. Once again, I told you to um, preview the music. Make sure you can do all the chords before you even attempt to play it. Make sure you can do all the chord changes smoothly before you attempt to play it. Now, when you're ready and you're comfortable, uh, go ahead and join this with the first lesson, or actually the uh, first two lessons, and connect it smoothly. And then when you're ready, we'll see you for the next lesson. Okay, we'll see you then.